All right. So, how dumb is the average American really? I've seen many of these videos and I still kind of don't want to believe that. Maybe it's because I'm a European and I have yeah, I have a different experience with like Europeans and no experience at all uh, with Americans and you can always pick the the stupid people from a crowd. But now that you say Zylo that it is uh it is indeed the average. Oh god. All right, anyways. So how dumb is the average American, really? Let's see it. Do you know what time this is? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, uh, 245. Yes. Do you know what 77 plus 23 is? Seven. All right, so that shows in two days. Three. I mean, I am also kind of slow when it comes to like, <laughs> adding numbers in my in my head right uh i used to teach a little girl who was like uh, nine years old i think no no at that time no 11 11 or, no 11 or 12 actually she was older and she could not read uh the watch she couldn't she couldn't tell the time i, I had to teach her the time that was interesting because that because she was actually really really smart. So I don't know how she managed to not learn how to read it. Those videos are probably all staged anyway. If not staged, then the smart ones are just edited out. Smart ones don't stop to do the videos. Dyslexia, a lot of people have it. Yeah, probably that. Yeah, they have things to do. Yeah. Around one number. Give me a number. I'm trying to think. It's like I don't know. She's frozen. This is I wanna be I wanna be a nice person here, okay? It's like this has happened to me many times when somebody just quickly asked the question. I was like that might be staged right. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's staged actually. 121. Yes, nice. What do we call a, a shape with five sides? Is it an octagon? Wait, that's six. That's she should just say over 9,000 and I would accept that. Accept that as a valid answer. I would accept it too. Is it an octagon? Wait, that's six. That's eight. <laughs> octagon is eight. Is it a stop sign? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. It's called the stop sign. <laughs> it's a stop sign. I fucking love this answer. Oh my god, I'm dying. Yeah, also, I think they, it's, I can see the potential of overthinking. I would be overthinking there. It's just a, it's, it's a stop your mouth sign. <laughs> it's a stop sign. Oh, imagine, guys, it's like hundreds of years ago it was called. The, the, the first recorded history of, of, the, of the stop sign being mentioned in, in, uh, in, ma ma in mathematics. <laughs> It's a scientific name. <laughs> you know what 15% of 100 is? Hold on, even the guy smiled for a sec. Yes. That's eight. Octagon is eight. Is it an octagon? Wait, that's six. That's eight. Octagon is eight. Is it a stop sign? Hold on, you can't, you can't really see the, her, her face, right? Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Do you know what 15% of 100 is? Around what it is, if you had to guess. <laughs> Probably like 75. I don't know. Yes. Nice. Do you know what 77 plus 23 is? Hold on, hold on. I don't know. I love her reaction. You know what 15% uh, of 100 is? And she, her, her first reaction was like, 
that's a math question. <laughs> look, look at her mouth. She she clearly says, "You could probably do this in any country and uh, and find some find the same people." I think yeah, I agree with this. Uh, with this, I think you could you could find people like these uh, anywhere. You would think that people in the US would have heard <laughs> around what it is if you had to guess. <laughs> probably like seventy five. Look at her mouth. So. Yes. You know what 15% of 100 is? Around what it is, if you had to guess. Probably like 75. I don't know. Yes. Nice. You know what 77 plus 23 is? You know, can't do simple math, my guy. That's the one thing that I'm going to fail on. Take a guess, like your best guess. Like a I mean, she's, a, she's honest at least, right? I, dude. My guy, my guy, I, I'm not even going to attempt this. Okay, I, I've, you saw me and I've already given it up. I am an honest person. <laughs> I'm not going to answer this. I, she's At least she's, she's confident in what she doesn't want to do. I, I, I respect her for that. Uh, I, I come from Denmark. I can confirm that 100% some people like this in Denmark, yeah. It only tells you one thing, the public is stupid. Well, if you could dig up scientists from 100 years ago and bring them back to life, they would see this crap and probably be like, bury me again, please. Yeah, probably. Around how much is that? Uh, around 115-ish, uh, seven, 105. Uh, <laughs> give, me, give me one final guess. You should have stopped. I just don't want to take too long to think about it, 105. Yes. Do you know what the four directions on a compass are? And she was surprised that, it, oh my god, it, I actually gave gave him the, the right answer. Yeah. I just don't want to take too long to think about it. 105. Yes. Do you know what the four directions on a compass are? No, sir. You had to guess. Left, right, up, down. Yeah. This this guy made me think. Hold on. It's like uh he did not want to just like the previous girl, he immediately denied answering, right? It's not it's not even that far from the truth. Yeah, he, he yeah, the actually yes. He does not seem to be uh like a stupid person at all. He he actually seems to be a smart one. She just doesn't need meth in her life. Yeah, money is in the bank. If if it's not, then it's on a credit card. Specific numbers are irre irre uh, irrelevant. Yeah. Go find these people, teachers, and make them pay us back. Lol. Well, yeah. If he would be a, a gangbanger, he should at least know east side, west side is true. It's information they don't need. Look at this guy's reaction. That's why I said that he, uh, he kind of shocked me, to be fair. Give me one final guess. I just don't want to take too long to think about it. 105. Yes. Do you know what the... So, he, he doesn't only just doesn't want to, uh, to answer the question. He, he's not even interested in trying to figure it out. Like, he has some kind of preconceptions about these kind of questions. But he does not look like somebody who is stupid at all, I think. So, in my opinion, this guy is more like conditioned to avoid specific questions because of bad experience. Maybe I am overthinking it, but this guy seems to be smart, I'm not gonna lie. I think. Four directions on a compass are... No, sir. You had to guess. Left, right, up, down. Yeah. Do you know this is not even that bad at all, I think. If he never used a compass, how should he know? Yeah. Because it's it's a common knowledge. It's like basic knowledge, right? That's that's why. This this whole test is about basic knowledge, I think. But But you're right, I think. Nowadays, nobody needs a compass. It's ancient technology. Uh, back when I was doing search and rescue, I had classes teaching people how to use a compass and the traditional map. A lot of people don't know those directions. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could even find uh, north. Uh, 
I mean, I think I could. I could most likely f figure out where North is, yeah. But it would take some time. I, I, I would need to think. <laughs> the phone shows you where to go, and that's all you need. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I once went to a zoo with farm animals in Denmark with a girl from China. She had never seen a pig in, in real life before. Some people just don't know. Yeah, to be honest, if someone comes to me on the street and asks a random question, I just ignore them because why do I have to prove myself? It's not about proving yourself. I think in this case with the, with the previous dude, it wasn't really about uh, proving anything. He 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 clearly. I th th that's that's just my impression. I, I have a feeling that that guy was conditioned to avoid certain questions because of of past traumas that are connected to those types of questions. Like uh, it's most likely like tests at school at school or like certain teachers asking something without letting them know how it works and making and ridiculing them i that's just my opinion because i i have this impression of that previous uh, previous guy that he is actually smart the way he said no sir seems like he had a high school teacher that threw things <laughs> yeah, exactly exactly you must own a sh own a cipher but i don't know what this uh, trick to learn northeast what? Nima's own cipher? Cipher, cipher, I don't know, cipher, Russian? Memory trick to learn northeast, south, and west. Okay. Year it was 22 years ago. 22 years ago? Yeah, around what year was it? Oh. Give me your best guess, around what year? 22 years ago. God damn, bro. Yeah. Gotta do some mental math real quick. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Honestly, bro, I don't even know. To give me a guess. Give me a guess. I'm 22. Around what year? I don't know. Was it in like the 19 something? I don't know. 19 what? Oh. Uh, in the 90s, maybe? Yes. Nice. If you're walking One north year ago. and then you turn to the right, what uh, direction are you facing? What? If you're walking north and then you turn to the right, what uh, direction are you facing? West. Yes. But 33 divided by 3 is? Uh. Around what, if you had to guess? Probably like from 5 to 10. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to watch a little bit, not gonna lie. Never, never eat shredded wheat. What, 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 what? Welcome back to Dust. Or just remember clockwise news and then be loved at. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. A rough translation would be never wash without soap. Oh, okay. Oh, you're still. Okay, you're talking about that. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Do you know what two countries border the USA? No. Like what's on top of us and what's below us? Look at how she only cares about how she looks. Um, isn't the North Pole below us? <laughs> and, yeah. And North what else? Holland and uh, what is above us? Is it Europe? Like you can clearly see how she how she holds her body and checks out the camera or what angle she could be in. Like she's clearly checking out how she looks. It's not a priority to answer the question, really. Because. <laughs> is that your guess? Yes, that's my guess. Yes, you just guessed. Yeah, I just that's did. insane. Do you know what thirty-three divided by three is? No. <laughs> the immediate no, no. See, it's the, it's the same issue. Is the is the exact same situation as the as the previous guy with the baseball hat. This was the immediate no. See, these people are not stupid. I think they are not stupid. They are conditioned to not answer certain questions because they have preconceptions or PTSD from the past 
where they were ridiculed for not knowing the answer of certain questions. I think these people are not stupid. North people, uh, not North people, <laughs> North Pole below us. She got me giggling. <laughs> that one. I love this reaction. What's above us? Europe? That's kind of cool because maybe in her mind above means better in some way. Oh my god, yeah. So I, I have this impression that these people are not stupid, they're just um, conditioned. Do you know what 33 divided by 3 is? No. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, don't, let's not waste the time, okay? Ask something that I can answer to, okay? This, this crap is not something I want to answer to, so... <laughs> oh my god. Give me a guess, a number, a round one. 33 divided by 3? Yeah. I don't know. Five? No. Nah. I don't know. Yes. It's five? Yeah. Yeah, her attitude is awesome. How many inches are in two How feet? many inches are in two feet? I have no idea. But I'm two European. Inches. Two inches? Yes. In. What did he say? Two inches. How many inches are in two feet? He asks two inches and then he answers two inches. 11 and 24. Hi, Mnav. People have so much potential, they're mostly just programmed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm naive, but I th he said two inches. <laughs> he asked two inches and then, then he said two inches. Two inches. Two inches? Yes. In two feet right happy new year mnav by the way oh he's f oh I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shut up i mean i don't know the uh the conversion rates but it can't it can't be fucking too <laughs> yes uh fits is like uh, one fit is like 33 centimeters one inch is around 2.5 so it's say 13 okay so i'm gonna shut up and let it through okay I'll let let it go now <laughs> Yes. In, in two feet, right? I mean, nah. It's like, I don't know. Like in two, in two feet, how many inches are there? If you had to two guess. Two feet is like an inch and an inch, right? Yes. Do you know how many continents there are? Can you pull, pull your hands out of your, of your pants, please? 50. This is this guy is gonna be a professional drug dealer <laughs> when he grows up. <laughs> Maybe he's already. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. What is with these people? But he's so he was like, I am thinking, I am thinking, and then confidently, no hesitation, fifty. <laughs> there may be fifty on the planet he lives <laughs> on in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, I got st I got out of school like seven years ago and I still remember these things. Yes. Even drug dealers want some. Who can, <laughs> who can count? He can count. He can count up to 50. He saw the continents and he knows how many there are. See? So, this guy is different from the previous ones, right? Because he is confidently an idiot, right? So that's why I laughed so hard, right? Oh my god. Yes. Do you know who fought in the Mexican-American War? No. Guess, like, two countries. Who do you think? It's just so obvious. These people are conditioned to think that they don't know the answer. Like, she doesn't even start thinking. Not for a second. She doesn't even start, uh, like, uh, like, interpreting the question, like, uh, trying to understand it, right? Ah, uh, he can count super fast. Just not... <laughs> Just not accurately true. For record, 2 feet is 24 inches, so I was wrong. F imperial, uh, imperial measurements, yeah. Critical thinking is 
punished. That's why. Yeah. I guess they were punished because they, they I guess they made mistakes, right? They, they answered incorrectly and they got punished for that. It's not really critical thinking. It's just thinking. Is it critical thinking to actually turn, turn to the question itself, like paying attention to the words in the question? It's not. It's not really. Is it critical thinking? What do you mean by critical? It's like analytical thinking in a way. It's just. It's, in my opinion, it's just thinking. Like what words? What are the words in the sentence? What? It's not critical thinking, it's just <laughs> thinking. In my opinion, critical in my opinion, critical thinking is like you hear a statement and you think about whether whether or not the the statement is is true or false, or what your opinion is regarding the statement, or are there anything that supports the statement? Analysis and evaluation. But that's another step. This is simply uh comprehension, right? More like, let me see if I have an app for this. Yes. I, I, I genuinely don't think we can assume how stupid or smart these people would be IRL. Because I, I, I can't see that. I can, I can kind of see the, uh, the stupidity uh, with this guy. He, I think he's an idiot, right? But the previous ones were not really. Fifty. Yes. <laughs> Fucking love it. Do you know who fought in the Mexican-American War? No. Guess like two countries. Who do you think fought? You don't remember. Uh, say that question again. Who fought in the Mexican-American War? French Revolution. I don't know. Yeah. I think she she was like. Here I need some kind of a history, historical answer. And she started like digging in her memories, like, oh, what's a catch catchphrase? <laughs> what's something I remember of, right? And then and she just threw it in, expecting it to work or trying it out, whether it works or not. Yes. If you had to guess two countries, like, who do you think did? Um... France. Yeah, against him. Uh, British. Yes, nice. Do you know what state we're in right now? She was not thinking. She was trying to remember. No, that's not. That's not thinking. Thinking is just a brief Q and, and an A, uh, and comprehend comprehension is understanding something thoroughly, and critical thinking is answering complex. Oh, hold on. Thinking is just brief question and answer. Okay. Comprehension is understanding something thoroughly. Critical thinking is answering complex topics like answering uh, why there is world hunger. Okay. Her brain is just <laughs> a mush. Even her wrong answer doesn't make any sense in that context. I think it actually makes sense why she said these things because she didn't she didn't try to analyze the question. She didn't not analyze. She didn't try to comprehend the question itself like what the question was about she had she had an impression about the question oh this is a history question i need a history answer this is about a war what kind of war do i remember ah the french revolutions which is kind of, kind of amazing that she remembered that one right uh whatever that is right and when when he he wanted her to answer more thoroughly. She was like, "What did she say?" Uh, British. Yes, nice. French and yep. British, because that's what she remembered of. So I think it makes sense why she said these things, because she did not comprehend the question. She just followed the impression itself. In a way, I think this is uh, this is bad. But I can see, I can still see a point or or an a, or or like a viewpoint where this is kind of a positive thing, because she's she's a she's a natural like <laughs> following her instincts and has her own kind of like uh, intuitions that she follows. So it's this kind of 
still positive in my eyes, but yeah, it's a, it's not good. Let's say that still. Uh, wasn't the war between Texas and Mexico Clint Eastwood movie knowledge? Yeah. Here's this kind of answer you put down because you don't want to give a white paper. Yes, exactly. Oh, what state we're in right now? United States. Hold on. Yes, nice. Do you know what state we're in right now? United States. Yeah, like what state in it? Like point to the state that's in it. What state we in right now? Yeah, point. Can you point to it? Oh, it's like no, 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 no helping. She knows this. She knows this. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cause I don't be looking at maps, so I don't know. No, I'm saying right here, yo. No, like over here somewhere. Yes. Do you know what the name is of the national anthem? Ah. Uh. What is the name of the national anthem of the U.S.? God damn it, I forgot. I don't know it now. If you write it in the chat, I will know it. What is it? Star Spangled Banner. What? What is it? Star Spangled Banner. Oh, then, then I don't know. <laughs> really? Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, I've learned something. The, the Mother Thank Justice? You. Yes. The, the Mother Justice? Yes. Do you know what country this is? Yeah. Yeah. What? No, for America. It's Halo. From Beyonce. I love it. Yeah. What? I wish we could see the paper. No, for America. Yes. Nice. How long is a quarter of an hour? Quarter of an hour? 25 minutes? Yes. What country is the Panama Canal in? Italy. Yes. If you had to guess, do you know what country the Panama Canal is in? Haiti. I thought it was the rock flag and <laughs> eagle. There's a video on the whole history uh, on how the Star Spangled Banner was made. Oh, okay, cool. I'll check that out, I think, sometimes, uh, sometime later. Yes, now oh. Allison. Haiti? Yes. How many moons does... What? What did she say? Haiti? Haiti? What is that? Haiti? Haiti. Oh, Haiti. Okay. Yes. How many moons does the Earth have? Nine. Eleven. Nine or eleven, you're close. I'm close to, like, it's in between nine and eleven? No, it's nine. It's or either nine 11. or eleven. Yeah. Uh, nine. Yes. Always go with you. She's like the, she's the female version of that drug dealer guy from earlier. I love it. <laughs> It's amazing. Like the instant answer, without hesitation. She just immediately threw a number. You know what? Dude? I'm just going to solve this problem right here. Nine. Eleven. Nine or eleven. Yes. How many moons does the Earth have? Nine. Eleven. Nine or eleven, you're close. I'm close to, like, it's in between nine and eleven. No, it's nine. It's or either nine or eleven. Yeah. Uh, nine. Yes. <laughs> Do we include 4,000 Elon's junk satellites as moons now? Apparently. I mean, she included eight. <laughs> eight more. Always go with your gut. You know what country we gained our independence from? <laughs> yeah. Guess, uh, you know what country... She just has to look up. Yeah, it's nighttime there. Yeah, actually. I mean, can they even see the moon? It's like the light uh, pollution. Has to be pretty strong there. Country we gained it's either nine or eleven. Yeah. Uh, nine. Yes. Always go with your gut. You know what country we gained our independence from? Yeah. Guess a country. United yeah, States. Yes. Do you know who the current vice president is? As a, do you like? Do you even understand the question? What country did we gain independence from? 
See, yet again, another... He is not... He doesn't look like somebody who is stupid, for me at least. He just doesn't bother uh, taking the effort or like putting effort into... <laughs> into uh, comprehending the question itself. I don't think you can see the moon in New York City, to be fair, unless it's directly overhead. Yeah, yes, it's, it's too much light everywhere. What does stupid look like to you? Uh, the drug dealer dude. That, that he, he was an idiot. I think he was stupid. He was an idiot, in my opinion. But he's the only one so far. Even the, even the nine moon lady was like... Uh, she was kind of close to that, to be fair. Yeah, maybe the, these, these two. But I, 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 I have not really seen... I mean, I've, I've seen only two, these two guys. Everyone else was... I, I couldn't really... Uh, like figure it out. Streamer is being way too generous here. I'm sorry. This, this is just my impression here. This guy yet again doesn't take any kind of time and effort. Doesn't put any effort into understanding the question. I don't want to call them stupid. I think they they just they have these preconceptions about the questions that they don't they deny answering because of of the past experience that they had. He's trying not to embrace them. Yeah. On the bright side, all that space trash uh, could be used uh, for some great fireworks today. <laughs> yeah, true. By the way, guys, we have the fireworks. You want to see that? It's kind of crappy, but I, that that this is what I have. Okay. Yeah. Fireworks. Yeah. Also, while these are funny, they're clipped to make things funny out of context. So just put it in a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he could get knifed or shot if someone thinks they're being ridiculed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's also like a, a defensive move. From, from him to not... How long is this? Come on, stop. Okay, cool. Nice. From him to, to, to not be uh, like rude to them. That's the whole appeal of the video. He, he just picked the worst looking young people in the street and think we have a lot of stupid people here in Eastern Europe. Moreover, we have a greater emphasis on lexical knowledge, which is not our decision. They had to develop other skills in school, I think. Do you think these guys developed other skills at school? We don't develop skills in schools. How many got the answers right? None of them. None of them so far, I think. We are taught to repeat back information. Same, same in Hungary, actually. Same in Hungary. All right. Yeah, he's eight. Yes. Do you know who the current vice president is? No. Who do you think it is? Take a guess. I don't know. I'm just waiting for Barack Obama to come back. <laughs> Can you name three countries in South America? Mexico. Could I tell who the vice president or the... Or the of Hungary is like we don't have a president we have a prime minister but like of the vice prime minister if that's a thing I think I could yeah I I know who that guy is uh of 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 the US you hate her hair oh you don't like those hair this kind of hairstyle right I think I don't like it either but it's whatever it's it's uh yeah, recently it's it's a trend. I think it's it's yeah, it's getting actually much more uh, popular nowadays, even. But it did, but did he specify the question? But he didn't specify the question. How should she know? Who is the current vice president? Why is it not specified? It is oh yeah, like which country? <clears throat> We've seen a lot of cringe videos here in Hungary too when there were elections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I remember. He is asking Americans, American youths, other countries do not do not exist to them. Oh, yeah, that's a good point as well. Brazil, Chile, China. I don't know. I'm just waiting for Barack Obama to come back. <laughs> Can you name three countries in South America? Mexico. Can I name three countries in South America? Oh, that's why you wrote that. Ch Ch Chad is in South America. Brazil, Chile, Argentina. Chad is in, in, in South America. Oh my god, see? Streamer is stupid. I thought that was in, uh, in Africa. That's how I don't know, see? Brazil, Venezuela, Panama. Hi, Ronin. Evening, uh, by the way. I think Chad is in, in, in Africa, but I'm not sure. It's in Africa, yeah, okay. Uh, Happy New Year, Ronin. Cuba. Guys, um, when the time comes, we'll listen to the European Union's anthem and drink champagne together. I know for you it's not really New Year's at that point, but for me it is. So we'll have a short break with that. And then we can continue the stuff. Uh, do the Falklands count as South America? I guess. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. Bora Bora. Yes. Do you know what the square root of four is? Uh, 16. Do you know what the square root of four is? Uh, 16. Square root of four. Yes. Well, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Clearly enjoyed it because you made it to the end. <laughs> if you want to see more content like this. I don't like this guy. I don't like his eyes some, for some reason. I don't know. It's just uh, an impression yet again. She confused it with the square. Yes, square root. Oh, ma, ma. Oh, my God. Uh, you, can, you guys can send videos that, you, that we should watch. Now, today is the day. <laughs> today is the day of like uh, having these kind of react contents. But don't, I don't want to shit on Americans. So if you have any other ideas uh, of like what to watch, I appreciate that. But let's, let's now, let's see some, some comments. A testament to America's outstanding education system, standing proud and dumb. I hope these people can find their way home. Oh my god, that's so... Wow, that's so crazy.